Hello everybody, this is Steroid Unicorn here, and I am back with Terraria. Uh, I have been doing some exploring, um, and I would like to build the house today. Let's see how that goes. Oh, you saw that, eh? That was my uh, Hermes boots that I found in the, uh, the dungeon. They give me uh, two defense, which brings my defense up to seven. And uh, they also let me run super fast, which is the most exciting part about it. Uh, I mean, the defense helps too, obviously, but uh, still, it's awesome. So, now that you've seen that, um, today I would like to build a house. Unfortunately, as you can tell, um, I am not recording my voice with the video. I'm doing a voiceover right now because I may or may not have screwed up the audio settings again, <laughs> uh, but I'll get it. So as you can see there, I've got my uh, headdress for the pharaoh and my uh, costume on. Uh, so you can wear those in your social slot there, which is uh, now I've figured out, which is rather cool. So I can be protected and look awesome. Uh, you can see all the ores I've got there. I've got a ton of ore. I've got like 150 platinum, like 200 lead, plenty of ore. Hopefully enough for a long time. Uh, and then I can do whatever I want with it, hopefully. Um, so, that's not what we're going to do in this video though. Today, we are going to build a house. Uh, and not just this kind of house, we're going to build a mansion. <laughs> Preferably uh, something close to that anyway, or more like a hotel, I guess, because we are going to be storing, well, not storing, I guess that makes them sound like property, but we are going to be housing lots and lots of merchants, hopefully. Uh, I would assume that this will work the way I'm going to build it, uh, so yeah. Uh, also, you can see here that I've got 25 stars. I'm going to use them all. Uh, so I've got eight stars, and that fills up my mana to the point where I cannot have any more. I've got 200 mana, and I don't know what you use mana for. Like, I know use it for some things, but I don't know what exactly you'd need that much for. So I'm just going to put this uh, star away. Uh, because I don't think I need them anymore. I would assume. Uh, I'm not too certain whether I will or not. But, uh, yeah. So, my apologies again that this is a voiceover. Because I'm recording through Sony Vegas. And it seems that my mic fades in and out a lot. While I do recording this way. Uh, so, my apologies with that. But, um, yeah. It's just going to have to be the way it is. I fixed it so that... Uh, later in this video, there will be no problem with that, but uh, right now, that's the way it's going to have to be. So, right now, uh, I'm going to build a mansion, uh, basically the size of my house the way it is now, uh, but straight up, a bunch of uh, those basically stacked on top of each other. And then I'm going to have a pillar in the middle. Uh, and then I'm going to have another stack of this this size house on the other side. Uh, so that I can walk up and down uh, easily. It's going to be like an elevator with ropes. That's what I'm planning. Uh, so this is six, six tall. Uh, so I should be able to measure. Super speed. Super. Speed so fast, super speed. So, uh, at this point, I decide to build uh, up like the tower in the middle so that I can go up and down here that uh, yeah just so that I can make this easier 
and not be bothered by creatures as much as well. So I picked up three gold uh, from creatures while I was exploring the mines, which I actually explored the majority of the mines there. It is a massive system, like, of caves. It's ridiculous. Those, uh, those ant lions just dug out the whole area, so... Uh, I'm probably not going to record myself going back there, because uh, I don't think... That that's necessary i've gotten most of the resources like i'm sure there's a little more but i've gotten most of it i think i'm content with exploring the world more the way it is like on the surface and seeing other dungeons maybe I like we'll see um i i would imagine that there is corruption in my world because uh i, I don't know i feel like there just needs to be and on the icon on my world's list, it's, it shows that there's corruption as well. So, uh, I would think there would be corruption. So here I realize that I messed up. <laughs> um, and then this is not where it needs to be, unfortunately. I'm sitting here, like, uh, <laughs> having to change all this. And then I took a ton of fall damage too, which sucks. Okay, so here I have tower fixed, and I have all of the rooms finished, uh, which I'd say they look fairly nice. I might do a bit of edits to them later just to make it easier to get in and out, but as you can see there, jump across uh, into each room from the rope, uh, which obviously isn't the most convenient, but it's, it's, fairly, it's fairly fun. It's, you know, a little bit of a challenge to get in and out. Uh, but it's a like it's not a annoying challenge. It's more fun. Uh, so we head out here. Uh, we are out of wood, so we're going outside to go get some. Uh, using my Hermes boots to run along. Uh, so just gonna grab a couple trees here. Now, of course, I'm going to have to go get more wood off camera, which I do. Uh, I actually just finished doing that. But uh, this is just a little bit that I'm showing you. Uh, cutting down trees. I set up a sapling farm, sort of. I don't know if that's a thing in this game, but I set up a sapling farm over here uh, to hopefully keep with uh, that. And as you can see there... I have a slime staff, which uh, I've never used before. That was the first time I used it. And I am naming him Jeffrey. <laughs> so uh, that's my slime Jeffrey, who can uh, beat up enemies. As you can see, just completely destroys them. Like, <laughs> that zombie just died in a couple seconds. So uh, he follows me around, and as far as I can tell so far, he does not despawn, which is fairly amazing. And they'll follow you wherever, and if there's an enemy in close range, you will go and attack it. Very cool. Uh, yes, I definitely... <laughs> I definitely think that was a good find. Uh, so, I've got uh, all that wood. Head back up to the top. Uh, so, we got Maxwell and Jeffrey... <laughs> which is pretty awesome got a, a deadly duo there uh, so yeah so I think I realize here oh yeah by the way Jeffrey can fly <laughs> which is which is very cool he uh, he just grows wings whenever whenever you go up the rope or whatever he just grows wings and flies after you uh, anyway, so we finished this, and then I realized that I cannot get in the top door with the, uh, with the thing there, so I can't jump into this. 
Uh, so at first, I think I need to lower it, but in fact, I need to raise it because uh, it needs some space to jump over. And then I defeated my hundredth zombie. So I received another zombie banner. And, uh, I go to put it in my house, and then I realize that uh, it is exactly the same as the other one, and it doesn't actually give you another bonus. So I guess killing more than 50 or something does not help you out very much. As you can see, I put it up here, and it looks exactly the same. So that was a bit of a bust, but oh well. Alright guys, so now I am back recording with my voiceover, or not my voiceover, sorry. I was doing my voiceover, but now I am back uh, recording my voice with the video. So uh, I am glad that I have that finally. Um, I don't know what happened, it screwed up the settings for some reason. Um, but as you can see here, we've got the house, uh, and I've collected 479 wood. I basically mowed the entire forest down uh, from every part of the map that we've explored all the way along here. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of this over here is cactus, uh, but over here I got most of them here, over here. Uh, so yeah, um, so now that I have that, um, I'm considering... I don't know how this will look, but putting a platform there and there, there, there. So now that I can have that, I can easily just get in and out of each building. There we go. Okay. So yeah, I think that's I think that's gonna work. We're gonna do that. So we've got all those. Um, now we need to make some walls uh, because we need some guys to move in. We need walls, tables, and chairs. So we're gonna put some stuff away. Uh, we're gonna put up, actually we're gonna put up this platinum chandelier that I found right up in our house here. Uh, right, right there, if I can. Maybe not. Oh, it's rather large, apparently. Okay. I will take down the torches, because I think it acts as torches. Uh, so, yeah. That's just going to be there for now. This is a big mess, this house. But now that we have all these other ones, we can spread it out a little bit. Uh, sorry, <laughs> Jeffrey. Uh, gonna... Okay, so I need walls. Can I just craft those here, or do I need a... Looks like I need a bench. Uh-huh. Wall, 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 wood wall. Okay. So I'm just gonna make as many as I can. Cause we're gonna need a lot. Probably, probably at least 300. Let, let's go with 300 for now. And there, okay. Uh, so let's go up here, open this up. Whoops. Guess I need my hammer finally. Uh, let's just knock that down. Don't want to waste walls because I know that I'm going to use probably all of them, if not more than all of them. Thump, 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 thump. <laughs> Whoops. Please tell me I can collect that. Yeah, there we go. Well, I, don't, I hate how walls take up such a little patch. Like, I've used up so much already. Probably gonna have to go off camera again and uh, get more wood, but for now... Whoop, there goes Jeffrey flying along. <laughs> Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Okay, let's uh, close that and grab wood wall. So, I think this will be nice. Uh, we'll have all our guys, our merchants, up and down here. 
hopefully they like the house because I'm spending a lot of time and resources on it. There we go. Okay, so I just made 300 and <laughs> uh, I have barely, I have not even done half of these, so we're definitely going to need to go make more. Not even going to be able to finish this one, unfortunately, but we may as well use them up. So let's do that. Man, Jeffrey's a friggin' tank. I love it. Whoops. Get back in. And I gotta make sure I have no wall or uh, holes in the walls. Because uh, last time I checked, that ends in disaster. Uh, so let's go craft some more. What are those? Hey, what the heck? A wood yo yo? Uh. It, I, it, I don't know. Uh, we're we're going to have to make that eventually and see what's up with that. <laughs> But, uh, let's just stick to the task at hand. And make, I'd say about 400. Holy jeez. Okay, there's 408. It's not bad. Probably enough to finish. Wait, we're down here. Okay. Well, I'm sure eventually I'll find a better way to get up and down here, but rope is the best I got right now. Like, I'm pretty sure there's, like, grappling hooks and stuff like that in here. Uh, but I don't know if that's going to be, like, a solid way of getting up and down or not. I have no idea. Because, like, as you can see, this is a little bit tedious getting up and down, but not, like, the worst. But I think this will look very nice when it's finished. So, yeah, I think I should have just enough to finish uh, the top one, too. Whoops. Heck. Uh. Alright then. That was weird. So then we need to put torches, chairs, and tables in each of them. And see if this works. If not, off camera, I will rebuild the house and show you guys. Uh, show you guys what it looks like when it's actually built properly. Because I'm not sure what properly is. trying to keep my videos under half an hour uh, so I'm trying to go as fast as possible here there's just so much in this game like I can't record for only a certain amount of time it's kind of ridiculous uh, so each one put a torch on the far wall around the middle and by this door one in the middle Probably not going to be able to get these perfectly the same, but, uh, oh well, for now, it'll do. About there. About there. About there. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's right. Okay, let's knock it up a bit. About there. There. Lots of torches. Lots of light. Man, has Jeffrey killed all these? Look at all the copper coins all over the ground. It's ridiculous. Like, I just walk outside and there's just 
coins everywhere. Look at him jumping up in there getting that demon eye. Friggin' tank. So eager. Good little Jeffrey. Alright. Uh, let's do the bottom ones. There. There. And there. Right, yeah, it seems like we can keep them pretty uniform. Uh, they seem to be about the same. I like to keep my houses about the same. Uh, or like uh, symmetrical, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So that seems about right. And this does not need walls right now. I'm good without that having walls for a bit. Eventually I will do it. But uh, right now I'm good. So let's make... Uh, we need five tables and five chairs. So one, two, three, four, five. Down. Five. I think that's all you need to make it a suitable house, so... Let's see. So let's grab... That... And that. Let's just put this... There. There. Let's just do that for each. Uh, I'm actually, before I do that, I'm just going to check and see if that's a proper housing. House is suitable. Okay. So, the house is suitable, so I would assume that means that one will just pop in. I would guess. I hope that's how it works. Shut up, zombies. My gosh. Go, Jeffrey, go. I need to kill these zombies. They're just really, really annoying. Man. It's like my personal bodyguard. It's amazing. Oh, what are you what are you asking there? You should stay indoors at night, it's dangerous. Yes, I know, man. I know Maxwell. You you don't gotta tell me that. I I, I can tell by the fact that there's zombies pounding on my door. I really hate nighttime in this game. Okay. So, housing. Suitable, 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 suitable. Okay, so they're all suitable. So they should all get people moving in. Uh, so I'm just going to end it here. And uh wait and see if there ends up being any people moving in and i'll be back when i see if they do okay guys so um i've been talking to maxwell about uh different uh things that i can do i've just been s clicking the help button seeing uh, about stuff in the game and uh so it turns out that you can combine lenses you find at a demon altar to find a way to summon a powerful monster. Uh, and it might want to wait till night before using it. Uh, so, I guess that's what those lenses are for. Also, he told me about uh, the housing here. Uh, apparently, if I hold on to bombs, uh, increase my maximum life, it has a likelihood of uh, attracting different... Uh, types of guys so if I hold on to money uh, then it attracts a merchant if I hold on to bombs it attracts a demolitionist if I hold on if I have more life it attracts a nurse uh, yeah <laughs> so uh, bomb gonna grab that going to Let's see. So, bomb. Got money. He only said it costs... It's about 50 silver, but... 
We're gonna just take it all just in case. Uh, so yeah, I'll be back again when the guys move in. Hopefully they do. Okay guys, so as you can see on the map, we have some new guests to our house here. Who are for some reason walking on top of the roof. Don't ask me why. But we have Morthal and we have Gilbert. Um, <laughs> which are some interesting names for sure. Morthal and Gilbert. So yeah, uh, they are our new guests. Uh, one is the, I would assume, demolition expert. And this is the merchant, I would assume, by his gold icon. Uh, which is exactly what I planned for. Uh, the money and the bombs. So, uh, I'm not sure why they're on the roof. Uh, maybe, yeah, I'm not really too sure. But I'm going to go up and talk to them and see what they got. Oh man, I hope they don't die if, I, if they fall. Ugh. Oh, he fell right where I needed him to. Isn't that convenient? Just uh, close him in there. Okay, ouch, that looked painful for him. Hopefully not too painful. He seems alive. Actually, he didn't even take any damage. Look at that. All right, uh, so, Morthal, check out my goods. They have explosive prices. Awesome. We have bombs, dynamite, and grenades. Awesome. 75 copper for grenades. That's beautiful. And this will destroy some tiles. So, gotta be careful with those. But there's three silver for those. So, I could buy a ton of these and uh, go kill all those uh, sand lions, which is lovely. Uh, and this will destroy most tiles for 20 silver. Um, I don't think I need the dynamite right now, but he is cool. Yeah, I am happy that he is there. And let's see what Gilbert has. Boy, that sun is hot. I do have some perfectly ventilating armor. Okay. Uh, so he's got a mining helmet worth four gold. One defense provide light when worn. Oh, that's nice. Uh, what, what's this? Piggy bank can be placed. Yes, that would probably be a place to keep money, I would think. A bug net. We catch butterflies. I'm not sure why you would need to do that, but... Mana and healing potions. That's... I mean, I've got tons, but I don't have any mana potions. Not that I would need them. Uh, arrows. Five copper for an arrow. Uh, don't think that's worth it, but sickle. Okay, good. We can buy rope. That's nice. And shurikens. All right. So uh, it seems like Gilbert's got some decent, decent items. Uh, so I will look and see what, uh, what uh, other merchants need or other uh, people need to move into our house and yeah so that is going to be the end of our video i will finish up the house off camera and next episode we will probably uh, make a challenge of exploring most of the world or at least somewhat in this direction because we haven't gone that direction yet uh so yeah uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I will see you in the next video.